homemade Christmas sugar cookie. Hey TNT community, it's day three of our Christmas cookie series and I'm super excited again about this cookie um, recipe. So let me just tell you all this, it's rather funny to me. Um, this recipe is from one of our subscribers. It's the subscriber <laughs> uh, that y'all call no name subscriber. Well, we can use her name. Her name is Deborah. Somebody say, yay, Deborah. <laughs> well, this is her um, sugar cookie recipe that she sent to me. And so we're going to make this a part of our three. This is day three of our Christmas cookie series. So we're going to use her sugar cookie recipe. It makes about two dozen two inch cookies uh, is what her recipe says. But I want to share with you, this is what we have in here. We have one and a half cups of my white lily all purpose flour. I also have an eighth a teaspoon of salt. My Himalayan salt is in there and I have a half a cup which is one stick. Look, you all, this is unsalted butter. This is why I put salt in here because we got unsalted butter in, um, in here, okay? And we also have three-fourths cups of powdered sugar that has been sifted, all right? We've got two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm using clear vanilla, and I want to use clear because these are sugar cookies, okay? I'm going to use, um, that's two teaspoons of clear um, vanilla extract that I have right there and then one egg yolk okay this is what her recipe calls for all right now I this is something that I want to do I want to make um, sugar cookies and th these are our um, sandwich sugars and I've got sprinkles and all types of things I've got my pastry mat here and I got my um, my uh, rolling pin that I'm going to use and here are the stars of the cookies. I hope we can do these cookies. I've got some cookie cutters here. We, look at all of these neat cookie cutters, you all. We're going to use all of these if we can, all right? So I just want to show you all. These are our cookie cutters that we're going to use. I have different kinds. When I say I have so many cookie cutters, that's uh, stars and stockings and Christmas trees and you name it i have them okay i love this that's the christmas wreath and then the gingerbread man and look you all we even have an angel all right so we're going to get into making deborah's sugar cookies this morning hold your horses all right guys so we're going to get into this recipe here the first thing we're going to do we're taking our powdered sugar i don't know if i even told y'all but this is three-fourths cup of sifted powdered sugar. Yeah, I did tell y'all I remember. So we're going to take our powdered sugar and our softened unsalted butter. This is a stick. We're going to put it in here and we're going to mix this. Okay. She said mix this well. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Get all the butter off. Mix it well. All right. Okay. Now, let's mix these, all right? This is our butter and powdered sugar. together so mix it well and that's what we're going to make sure all of our butter and powdered sugar is combined and I think yeah this is what we're wanting I think this is what I would think she would want it's combined and then she said the next thing to do is put in 
our two teaspoons of vanilla. We'll put that in along with our egg yolk, okay? Oh, and egg yolk. Okay. Mix that well. Okay, I'm gonna stop so we can scrape down the side and get the rest of this egg yolk out of here. <clears throat> it's been sitting at room temperature. If you know anything about egg yolk, they'll tend to stick like this, okay? So we just want to get all that out. And let's put this over here out of the way. And let's scrape down our sides. That powdered sugar. I'm going to get it off. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's just re. Mix this a minute. Get all that from the side. Okay. All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn this down some. And now we're gonna take our flour and our salt, and we're gonna gradually. Put it in, okay? Just gonna gradually put this in like this. Just put a little bit more in. Put a little bit more in. A bit more. Just like this, we bring in our sugar cookies together. Bringing them together. Let's put our, our last flour in. Turn it down again, pour it flour all over it. And mix well is what she said. So we're gonna mix this well. But I'll show you. I think that's pretty good for that. Because I can, uh, I'm going to form it into a disc. So that's pretty good. We'll scrape around, our, scrape around our sides here. And then I bring it, I bring it together. Okay. We'll do that like that. Let's move this over here out of our way. So we can bring our other. Let's move this. All right. Now that we've gotten that together, we want to form us a disc, okay? All we want to do, because it's, it's together, we're going to form us a disc. Now, what I want to do, I don't know if I have enough, but I want to cut it in half so I can make sure that I have um, enough, because I want to make enough of these cookies with these, um, put down the middle of it like that. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna wrap these in some, you got parchment paper, she said. I'm gonna use this plastic wrap. Okay, we're gonna use this plastic wrap and I'm gonna wrap these discs up and put them in the refrigerator for a half an hour. That's what she said, for a half an hour, okay? 
You said this is parchment paper. I'm gonna put half on here like this. And then she said get the other piece of parchment paper. Like this. All right, go on a disc. We did it. Wrap tight in plastic wrap and refrigerate half an hour. Uh, oh, it said right tap. I don't know why I said parchment paper. But anywho, let's do what she said. Let's take that off of that, Teresa. And plastic wrap and refrigerate. That's what I thought, but I just wasn't sure. That is what I thought she said. Okay, so. I don't want to hold y'all. Hold on. Okay, guys, I had to get the Reynolds wrap part. Um, but anywho, we're going to take this. We're going to wrap our first one. Wrap this dish. Well, look, let me do this dish first. Let's do this like this. Okay, that's our disc. Oops, 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 oops. Let me make sure it's really formed correctly. Okay, we're gonna make us a disc. All right, there we go. Now, move this out of the way. All right, and now we're gonna wrap this. Plastic wrap. We're going to put it in the refrigerator. We're going to put this in the refrigerator for half an hour, okay? We're going to do the same thing with this one here. We're going to put them in the refrigerator in a half an hour and we'll be back. Hold your horses. All right, guys, we've gotten our disc out of the refrigerator. They have been chilling for half an hour, and so we're going to take them out. And she said to um, heat your oven to 375. You know your oven. I'm going to heat mine to 350, and I just have to keep checking them. But um, she says heat your oven to 375 degrees, and then using your hands, pat the disc dough out. To your almost desired thickness well because i've got my a pastry mat here i'm going to use this i'm going to use my pastry mat and um we just gonna um well first thing i wanted to do i want to sprinkle my mat the first thing that i want to do so use your hand pat the mat pat the dish dough out to almost desired thickness on a piece of parchment paper well, I'm going to use my mat, okay? And then she said, cover with another piece of parchment paper and roll out to your desired thickness. Well, like I said, because I have this um, mat here, we're going to use it, okay? All right, so let's see what we're working with here. All right. We're going to just try to roll these out. And they start splitting on you like this. You just want to pull them back together. Okay. Sometimes that means um, when they crack like that, you may have to put them in the fridge a little longer. Okay. But we just want to roll them out. As they're coming apart, see I'm just pulling them, pulling it back, pulling it back in, that's all. Bringing it back in. Okay. Just like this, guys. Get them. That's that's good enough for me right there. That's my desired thickness. So we're gonna start right here with um I got this Christmas tree. We'll put it a little in my flower, and then we're gonna 
Well, first of all, let me get my baking sheet here. Okay, we've got our baking sheet that's lined with parchment paper. And we're going to sit it right here. And then what I'm going to do, I got my Christmas tree. And I'm going to just stick it in here like this. See if we can pull her up. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. 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 I may have to put this dough back in the refrigerator, y'all, and let it get. Um, because if that's not gonna work for me, I'll stick it right back in that fridge so we can have us some good smelling yeah, yellow. Let's try another one. Let's try this mitten. See what it does for us. All right, let's see. Now we're gonna have to put our dough back, guys, because it's not, uh, I can't handle it good enough. So let's put our dough back in, and then we'll, st we'll start. I'm gonna give it probably another hour, okay? Let's give it another hour. All right, we'll be back. Okay, guys, we're gonna try this again. We are going to try this again. And how about this time? <laughs> I'm gonna just do what <laughs> uh Eric said, well, just do what Deborah said do. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this down on here. And she said get a piece of parchment paper. And that's what we're gonna do. And then she said roll it out on the parchment paper. So let's see if this is gonna put my own. Um, and those kind of them got a little bit too cold, so we're going to have to let it um, kind of go out a little bit more, I think. But, um, let's just see. Let's just see, let's just see, let's just see. Oh, yeah, it's definitely rolling better, though. All that's all we're gonna get when I tell y'all these cookies gonna be good. I know they are. I know they are. She said they have a very good buttery um flavor to them, and that's what we want a good buttery sugar cookie. That's what we want. Okay, so let's see. this the best way that I can. I'm going to have to finish letting these kind of cool. I mean, uh, they still a little cool, I think, is what it is. You know, I don't want to kind of roll out for them, pull them out for them. But, uh, so, let's just see. Let's work with one of these and see what we come up with. Let's see. Just want to make sure. Yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. Look at the mitten. Y'all see the mitten? Mm -hmm. And so what I want to do, I got some butter here that I've melted. And I just want to brush the mitten with a little butter like that. And then I'm going to dip this mitt in my sanded sugar here. See how this is? Let me do it on both sides. All right, that's our first one. We're going to put it 
Uh oh, and we have hand it so we'll put it on here, okay? And what we're gonna do is just keep I don't wanna do the Christmas tree in red, but we may have to. Let's see what our star give us. Not our star, but our um let's see here. Let's see if we can get it to These are just the scraps. We don't want the scraps. We're just trying to pull the... Uh-oh. That one messed up on me, too. But we're going to... I'm going to... Y'all, let me tell you something. Well, this going to work for me. These cookies will work for me. And I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to just re-roll re them. That's all. Alright, this is our candy cane. That's our candy cane. Just brush it. And brush it like this. In our butter. And we're going to put another one in our reds. Sanded red sugar. Okay, like that. And I, me personally, this is me, unless I might be doing something wrong. But I think these cookies should be chilled about two hours. That's what I think. To really give you that, that hard shape that you need. But anywho, let me finish rolling us out some. And once I get them all rolled, I'll show you I'll hold your horses. Okay, guys. I got us some ready to go in. Can y'all see? We got us some ready here. And we're going to put them in the oven. Got us a snowman, a Christmas tree, some wreaths, a stocking, some candy cane, a Santa's hat, a mitten here, gingerbread uh, man, an angel. So we got a star here. We're going to put these in the oven on 350 for about seven to nine minutes. I'll check them. I'll let you know exactly how long it took. We're getting ready to put our sugar cookies in the oven. Let's sit them right here in the middle of our oven. And we're going to bake them for seven to nine minutes. We'll be back. Hold your horses. Okay, guys, it's been nine minutes. Um, let's see if they are ready. You know, I'm cooking them on 350, so um, I have to keep checking them. Oops, I messed that one up right there. I touched it. Let me see if I can put it back where it's supposed to go. Um... Hmm. I think they might be ready, guys. I think they are ready. So I'm going to go ahead on them. And I'm going to take them out and sit them up here on our cooling rack. Y'all see them? That's our sugar cookies. Okay? And you just want to cook them. To the egg. Oh yeah, they're ready. No doubt about it. They are ready. They are ready. We're going to let them just sit here and finish cooling for a few minutes and then we're going to plate them up and try them for you. Hold your horses. All right, guys. These are our Christmas sugar cookies. Uh, thanks, Deborah, for this recipe. Day three. Day three of our Christmas cookies. So I'll give you, you want the Christmas wreath? Mm -hmm. I'll give him the Christmas wreath. And I am going to eat, I think I want, I'm going to eat, ooh, I don't know which one. I'm going to eat the angel. Mm -hmm. The angel. Oh, I want to show you all too. I think it looks better on yours. 
See how they cook up real nicely in the back? All right. All right. So let's try and I'm, I'm going to say, try. me too. <laughs> and she did these without decoration because I don't care for all that sugar stuff on it. Maybe the grandchildren will. They'll be here shortly. Y'all know that y'all get on to me about fixing stuff that he don't like. So I, I just put sugar on three of them and the grandkids eat those. And well, they, they might get some sugar and oh, decorate them. I forgot them. about the other um, sprinkles on there too. But okay. Precious Lord, thank you for the food we're about to receive. We ask you to sanctify, purify, and make it holy. Let it do us no harm. God, we thank you for our YouTube family. We thank you for this day that you allowed us to live in. God, I thank you for my wife who thank prepared you, this. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Last night I was reading, going back to read some of our old videos and the <coughs> comments. And on one lady on there, she said, well, one of the subscribers, she said, why is it that when you all pray, I bow my head and pray with you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was so cute. She said, why is it that? And then she said, I know I don't. She said, tell me that I'm, I'm not the only one that do this. So. <laughs> no, I can tell you one thing. When we're in a restaurant, I, I hear somebody start praying. It's like a deer that's down with yep. a head. Yeah, they start praying. The deer you know, the head. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. Oh, these are good. I think. Mm. And just like you said, Deborah, they're very buttery. Who's Deborah? Look, you call, no her, name. you call her no name. But her she name, always had a name. I just, <laughs> I respect her privacy. I didn't want to say her name, but her name is Deborah. <laughs> we appreciate you, Deborah, for these recipes. This yes. cookie is very, very good. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. Scrum delicious. Mm, mm, mm. This angel is still. Mm, mm, mm. Thank God. Our life don't depend on this angel. Because it's gone. Well, no angel, period. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, what I'm saying, we have our angels. You know, we have angels. Mm -hmm. And so this one here, it, I've eaten it. <laughs> well. Oh, this is so buttery and flavorful, soft, chewy, good, all of that, and then some. Hmm. I had a few more that I put in the oven. Mm, mm, mm. Well, family, let me just show them. I had made a couple. I just did with uh, just regular. A regular cookie shake. These a are star. just the plain cookie one. Let me show you all. Just a plain sugar cookie. Just a plain sugar cookie. See that? On the back, it's a plain star. <laughs> so but anyway, I just want to show them those. That's all. I thank her mm. for mm. making these cookies and mm. in this 12 days of Christmas cookies. Mm -hmm. And a treat. And an extra treat. For Sweet Treat Friday. So, if you like this kind of content, <clears throat> we ask that you please subscribe, please share, please like, leave us a comment, you know, because that really helps out our channel. Mm -hmm. And we want to continue to grow so we can bring y'all good, wholesome con uh, content. I truly thank my wife. She's staring out the window. I'm just thinking about how the wind is blowing and the sun is shining. And then I thought about our plate that say it's the most wonderful time of the year. You know, it's just it's just a time of hope and peace and love and joy. And I was just thinking about that. That's all. Chef Jeffrey say, just show some kindness. That's it. Just show That's some it. kindness. And I want to say to the <laughs> to the person who uh, comments saying, uh, just in case you're wondering, if you lick the screen, you can't taste the cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! <laughs> I think that was so funny. Because sometimes I'll be looking at other people's cooking and yeah. I'll be like, mm -hmm. they'll be saying, take a bite. So I wish I could take a bite. <laughs> but anyway, oh, family, goodness. we we love y'all. Yes, we do. We wish y'all a Merry Christmas. We'll see y'all tomorrow if the Lord will. Christmas sugar cookies. Go it's ahead beginning on to some. look a lot like Christmas. Put this on your list for the weekend. This, yes. This is it for the weekend. It is a great activity for the grandchildren. It is. It certainly is. Hmm. So, don't tell mine I said so, but just remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> until the next time, let, let the, the journey, journey continue. continue. Bye, Bye, guys. Continue. See y'all tomorrow.